everybody, Gina DeLuca here. I know I have been a wall for a bit. Um, I had a case of the quarantine blues. I think most people can relate to that. Um, <clears throat> being a musician uh, and, and not being able to gig to, to go out and play, to go see other bands play, to see my friends, you know, as an artist, you need to refill your well. And uh, being stuck in the house has not really given me any way to refill my well. And I really started feeling it uh, about a month ago, I guess, ish. And I have been basically working in the garden. We've been doing complete landscape overhauls. Uh, and that has kind of helped me to, to pull myself out of the funk, to give myself something to look forward to. All of the fun things that I had planned uh, were canceled, just like everybody else. And uh, one day I woke up and saw that my fiance had weed whacked my lilies and I basically had a little bit of a breakdown because I felt I had now nothing to look forward to because I was looking forward to seeing those flowers bloom, which I have not been able to do in the six years that I've been here because either they've been weed whacked by my significant other or eaten by deer or <laughs> Uh, we at one time we had a landscaper come out and do a bunch of work and, and they chopped them down too. So I was looking forward to getting to see them bloom and when I saw that they had been decapitated, I just started sobbing. And I knew it wasn't just because my flowers got decapitated. <laughs> so we just decided to finally do the work that we've been saying we were going to do on the outside of the house and I am very, very light sensitive. So we've been trying to get it done before the, uh, the weather really changed and it got very muggy. Um, but one of the reasons that I haven't been painting is because when I am not in a good mood, I do not wind up with good paintings. These things are like mood rings for me. And if I am in a foul mood, there, I could do 10 paintings and not like any of them. So I decided to concentrate my efforts on a place where I could uh, be happy with the end result as to not bring myself into more of a funk. And so we've accomplished a lot of that. It's like 175 degrees outside today and I can't work in that kind of weather. Uh, I will pass out. So <laughs> uh, my mom always jokes that I'm part vampire and I think she might be right. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a painting for my mom as per her request. She wanted a Dutch pour or an air swipe, however you want to call it, with flowery colors and she wanted an ethereal look. So um, just for fun, I'm using uh, neon colors that have been toned down. I don't think my mom has a black light, nor do I think she wants one. I'm just doing this for fun to see how it turns out. So the colors we have are neon, you know, these are uh, Artist Loft, neon yellow, neon pink, neon green, neon purple and neon orange. To the yellow, pink, purple, and orange, I have added Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta. And to the green, I have added a touch of Phthalo Green, also Basics. I want them to still glow under a black light, but I don't want them to look like neon colors. All right. I have Titanium White uh, by Liquitex Basics as my base coat. Swipe color. 
the consistency that we're working with is very thin. I would call this a one on my scale of consistency. For more information on that, you can find a link in the description box. And it basically drizzles off your stick and disappears immediately as soon as it hits the paint in the cup. All right, let's make a mess, shall we? Before I start, uh, a few people did reach out to me to check in and make sure I was okay because they hadn't seen anything from me in a while. And I do want to say thank you very much for uh, thinking of me and I apologize for my absence. But uh, as the saying goes, you have to put the oxygen mask on yourself first and I needed oxygen. And so I went outside and got dirty. I, I literally spent one month in my house without leaving the house at all, not even, not even to go outside. So I'm a germaphobe uh, and this whole thing really did rock my world quite a bit. But uh, I am pulling myself up by my bootstraps and getting back to work. So let's do this. You want a heavy base coat because you're going to be blowing this around and you don't want to blow down to the canvas. You want to make sure that you have enough paint for it to float upon. All right. So I'm going to pour a bit of this. I'm going to make myself a little bit of a pattern. So didn't mean to do that one. Oh well. I'm going to save the green till the end because I don't want... Uh, 
Maybe touches. Okay. All right, fine. Okay, now I'm going to add the swipe flood here. I have my air compressor. Turn that up to about 35 here. 35 PSI. Okay, let's blow this back out and make something pretty for moms.
All right, I'm gonna call this done. Uh, I think it looks ethereal. It is flowery colors. Actually, I need to change that. I don't like that, right there. Better, okay. Yep, I'm gonna leave it just like this. And I will bring you in for a close up and do the, uh, show you what it looks like with the black light when it gets a bit darker in here. All right, you guys, back in a few. Okay, here it is. It's been sitting for a bit. You can see the edges have started to dry. This does look a little softer in person than it's showing up in my camera. I think it has a hard time picking up certain hues, particularly the brighter neons. But it's not exactly what I was hoping for, but my mom said she loves it. So that's all that matters, right? As it was for her. But it's got some of that ethereal action going on on the ends, which she wanted. And let's see what it looks like with the black light. All right, here it is under a black light. That looks pretty cool. Apologize for the loud TV. Now I can hear it. It's probably very loud. Pay no attention to that noise in the background. But uh, that looks pretty. I think it looks pretty nifty. There we have it. All right, so there it is. I did forget to mention my Fluid Art Inspiration cards, if you feel so inclined uh, to check those out. They are on my website, ginadeluca.net. There are 52 cards in the deck. There are 42 technique cards. Each card has it, an attached video. It has a color palette. It has a tip and the two boxes, oh, I can't do this. These two boxes are meant to go together in a two color pour or you can add another color to that. There are eight bonus color palette cards, each with five color palettes. Use them, use all the colors, use a couple of the colors just to divine some kind of inspiration. You can mix and match techniques with palettes also on the description box, you will find links to my PayPal and Venmo tip jars if you feel so inclined. And, uh, oh, there's so much stuff. Uh, my Amazon store, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon. If you enter through that link, I receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. Do not forget to check out our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art. Post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I guess I'm a little out of practice. I will try not to be such a stranger. Thanks for tuning in, and if you made it this far, thank you. And uh, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.